Assalamu salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tell me you love me and it won't be enough. Show me you love me and I'll forget the moment you are done. I'm human that way. Fickle, greedy, ignorant, forgetful. Nothing is ever enough. I'm spoiled by a Lord who loves me every second of every minute, whose love beats my heart and expands my lungs, divides my cells and paints the sky for my pleasure. You tell me you love me and I pray you understand. It will never be enough. For my existence is used to the eternal one. The one who moves planets to grant my wishes. The one who stops time as he wishes. The subtle. Who loves quietly and with precision. If you tell me you will love me forever, I'll know you are lying. You haven't met all of me to know. You don't have an inkling to what the nature of your heart will be in the next second, let alone eons later. So no, I don't ask you to love me. It will never be enough. Loving me is something bigger than your human nature can bear. And if you tried, you'll only break. I ask you simply to hold space for my peace. Hold space for the pains I carry. Share with me the joys I am gifted. Share with me your doubts musings and pain. Forgive me and pray for my guidance. Take off your armor and grant yourself a home in me. Be my companion and friend. Guard my honor as best as you can. But most of all, love the one who gifted you my heart, the one who decreed you and me long before the existence of the stars. I think that's the one and only love poem I've ever written. I think love has always been a complicated topic for me. But one thing I realize is that all love, or true love, really, originates from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your mom loving you, the people around you that love you. Sometimes we think it's because of the things that we do for them, but You know, if someone loves you because of what you do for them, it feels incomplete, right? And there's something about love that just puts down all your defenses and allows a certain kindness towards this individual or thing or activity. You just love it. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that softness of heart, that's granted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's a hadith Qudsi where that, that speaks about when Allah loves you, the people love you. Like, people can't even help loving you. <laughs> and I was like, how does that work? And I realized it's really Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that controls the hearts. So, in my pursuit of love, I started to understand that if I'm loving a person, they'll never be able to truly appreciate everything that I am doing for them because they don't know the thought behind it. Their capacity to understand everything that I put into it is limited by their knowledge, right? So they can only appreciate it to a certain point. But when I do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Knowing that Allah knows every little thing and every ounce of energy that I have put into this. And I say, Allah, this is for you. And I'm doing it for you. And one of the names of Allah that always blows my mind is Allah describes himself as Shakir. Right? Like the appreciative, the ever appreciative one. Like, what, do, what does Allah has to thank us for or be appreciative to us for? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, he's given us everything 
that we have everything that we need and there's really no absolutely no reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be appreciative to me you know but Allah is ever appreciative he is subtle he is he understands khabir he is no knows and no human being can give you that where they know every little thing that went into what you did and so love just became sweeter when i did it for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then the person would feel it and they would feel the pure version of it because i'm not expecting anything back from them because i'm not doing it for them i'm doing it for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my expectations go towards allah rather than that person and so loving people just became easier and softer and i'm the kind of person like if i if i'm trying to get you something i don't know what you want sometimes i overthink it and i'm like what if i get them something that they hate or that they don't want and so one thing i started doing is is asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide me to the gift that this person wants and so if it's a sandwich or some time to be like you know to spend time together or a walk in the park i don't know what it is that they need but i go out to try to do something you know i'm trying to get something <laughs> for them i'm trying to share the love with them i want them to feel loved but i don't know what makes a person feel loved so i just ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah guide me to whatever it makes them feel loved and sometimes it's a thing i get and sometimes it's a thing that i do afterwards that that is the most meaningful or sometimes it's just a thought you know so i feel like love became less complicated when it became centered on allah and i also realized the type of love that i want and i need i can't expect a human being to provide it for me cuz i realize it's just like sometimes you just need constant love and you're like <laughs> it's, like it's like this person tells you that they love you but then afterwards some thoughts come in and it's like do you really <laughs> do you really and it's all these doubts and things like that and so i stopped expecting love from people and just expected it from allah and when someone would show me love i would recognize it as it's coming from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this person is just the avenue by which it shows up and i became less attached to people and less devastated if that love didn't come from that person anymore because it didn't mean that the love was gone it's just that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bringing it to me through a different avenue an avenue that's perhaps less harmful you know and maybe i was harmful to that person so allah removed them from my my life you know but the love doesn't go away because the love is with allah and i don't need to do much except to remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to access that love and i and everything became sweeter moments of silence moments of peace not feeling any pain everything became so much sweeter may allah free gaza and free palestine free free palestine free sudan May Allah free us all of colonialism, <laughs> free us from the enslavement we put ourselves in, free us to understand that all and every single thing that we need comes from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. It's Ramadan. It's a love letter from Allah to us this entire month. This entire month, you will you'll feel your heart soften. so connect it with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala get ready for that relationship you know ma <laughs> imagine you're like sitting and you know just sit down and speak to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala build that relationship with the quran like you are building it with an individual or you're building it with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being vulnerable being open expecting the best not expecting the worst all the things that we do for people we should be doing it for allah because allah is more appreciative of it people only take 
They can only give so much. They're limited. But Allah is limitless. Let's go. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every single thing that you do and grant you the love that you need in this world. And with that, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This has been Muna Sheikh Umar. And peace be with you. I gotta read some Quran.